Popping corks can be a great tool for fish catching success, but if not rigged properly, can be a recipe for frustration and inconsistency. If you guys give me just a second, we're going to go over the proper rigging of a popping cork and a way to do it so that you guys will minimize the frustration about your line wrapping up here on the top of the cork. As you guys see here, I have a popping cork rigged up right here, and we're going to go over all of the connections on how to rig this up from your main line all the way to the cork and all the way down to the actual lure. So looking at the diagram right here, you guys can see that the first connection you have will be with your main line and your leader. That will be a line to line connection such as an FG knot or a double uni. But that will be the first knot going down to your cork. Then you will have about a six inch piece of heavy monofilament leader. I like to use between that 30 and 50 pound range because the heavier that leader is, the better job it does of standing up on the top of that cork to help make sure that your braid does not get wrapped up. The next knot you have on this setup going down to your cork will be a snug knot. I have used an improvised clinch knot and that's what I have used for the next knot at the bottom of the cork. Again, will be a snug knot. I like to use an improvised clinch knot. Now, going down from that, I will have my leader section, whether that be 18 to about 24 inches, depending on the area depth or conditions I'm fishing, but uh, that's typically the range of leader I will have there. Going down to my lure, that's where I will have another knot. Now, I want your opinion on this. Does it matter what knot you have right here? Do you guys use a loop knot or do you use a snug knot? And would the knot matter if you used a different type of plastic like a Z-Man? Would the buoyancy of that bait make the bait float? And would the knot influence that? Those are questions I wonder if you can help me with. Maybe we can do a test on that as well. If that's something you guys would like to see, let us know about that down in the comments section. If y'all have any questions about any of the knots that were used in this video, in this tutorial, we have plenty of videos explaining how to tie each one one of those. If you're interested, make sure you check those out. Rigging up a popping cork is super easy and doing it with this little trick of monofilament at the top will make you have a lot more success on the water and a lot less frustration. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and also check us out at saltstrong.com for more awesome fishing information. Until next time, we appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next video.